Hey everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome back to my channel. As you all know, I use a lot of images from thrifted books and magazines in my collage art. I pretty much exclusively use thrifted books. I think you find more unique images that way. I love hunting for used books at thrift stores. And I love the idea of taking an older, maybe forgotten book and giving it new life and new love and turning it into a new piece of art. But there is a subset of books out there that are specifically designed full of images for you to cut out and use in collages. Now, I've always been sort of curious about these books. So, I bought six of these books on Amazon for us to look through today. I'm so curious what kind of images are gonna be in here. Is the variety good? Are they images I'm even gonna wanna use? Is the paper quality good? Are they all just gonna have the same images? I don't know. I also tried to get a good variety of books. I got a couple that are more popular that I've seen a lot before, have good reviews, and I got a couple that I had to dig a little deeper to find, maybe are a little bit more unique, have maybe not as good reviews, but I'm curious to look through all of them today, so let's get into it. I wanna start with the book that I think is the most popular. It's certainly the one I've seen the most. Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage by Maria Rivens. And this was $18 on Amazon. So I'm excited to jump in. So this says over 1,500 images, which is a lot of images. It also is the thickest of all the books we're gonna look at today. It's very obvious. It's a lot thicker than all the rest of the books. So I'm assuming it has the most images, so that's good. Oh, and there's some good examples of how you could use the images in a collage. Like, that is beautiful. Oh, I love that there's inspiration in here. Okay, and this also talks about the tools and materials for collage. Wow, so if you've never done this before, this would be a good resource for sure. All right, here we're getting into the images. So far, there's so many images I'm seeing already that I wanna collage with. I will say they're all a little bit on the smaller side. This is kind of the biggest two heads and the people are all about the same size. I would say there's you know less variety in the size, but I think that's okay. Okay, some body parts, that's awesome. We got hands. Ooh, that bathtub. <gasps> oh, so good. Lots of buildings. Street signs, older buildings. Oh, flowers, these are beautiful. No stems though. I don't know if that would be annoying for me. Ooh, these cactuses. Oh, I love them all. <gasps> Mushrooms, oh, they're so good. I love them. I love them. <gasps> oh, so good. The variety in this book is really surprisingly good. They have everything from animals, buildings, lots of people. So far, variety, A+. Plus. Oh, some beautiful butterflies and other insects. <gasps> All of these beetles. Oh, the same feather over and over again. I guess you could do one big feather thing and you would want all these feathers. That is just like a little bit weird. Okay, a bunch of butterflies. Okay, the end of this is just the same thing over and over again, which would be good if you wanted to use this gem a lot as maybe a headpiece or something, you would want a lot of the same gem. Oh, a lot of big images in the back here. Things that you could, you could use as sort of a foundation for your collage and then use a lot of the little things around it. I do like that they include these in here because I was saying that I think the variety of the sizes throughout the rest of the book were all about the same. So having a couple really big things, I think really adds to that variety. Oh, even a couple postcards. Those are really fun. Oh my God, I love this desert scene. Oh, I wanna use this like right now. <laughs> wow, okay, honestly, pretty good selection. I'm very impressed. I think there's a lot of collages you could make with all of these. The variety is good. The image quality is great. Paper quality is great. I'm, I mean, I did start with, I think, what was gonna be the best one. 
I'm very pleasantly surprised with how these look. I think there was good variety. I'm really, I'm really impressed with this one. The next book we're looking at is a little bit more unique. It's called Cutout and Collage for Spiritual Seekers. And I kind of like the more unique images, so I wanted to find a couple of these that were a lot more unique and a little bit maybe more different. And this one was $14 off Amazon. And it is about half the size, half the thickness of the one we just looked at. There's few instructions on how to collage right at the front, but not a whole lot. All right, we're diving right into the images. I would say right off the bat, a lot of these images look a little bit less polished than the last book we looked at. They're just a little bit more rough around the edges and you would clean these up if you were gonna cut these out and use them in a collage. So I think it's okay, but just a lot of these sort of more funky lines look a little bit just less unfinished than the one we just looked at. I also think that some of the image quality is not as great. This image down here is a little bit just not as good quality, but these, this page right here has some great color, some great vibrance. Again, a really good variety of different things. All right, we got some really funky things. So we got some trippier things, which I do like the variety in here. That's a little inappropriate. <laughs> the paper quality in this is totally fine. I like that it's printed one side. We have some words, which the other book didn't, and I kind of like that. Well, I don't really use words in my collages, but if you did, I like the variety. I do kind of like that I have no idea what each next page is gonna be. The stuff in this book is so random. I really have no idea what's gonna come next. And I kind of really appreciate the variety. These are very different than other images that I've seen in other books. So I will say this book is very interesting. There is a lot of variety. There is so many weird things. It, it's kind of, it's really interesting, but I will just say it's not as polished as the other one. Some of the image quality is not as good. This book was only a couple dollars cheaper than the other one, and it's a whole lot worse than the other one. But I do appreciate the very odd, very unique images that are in here. So I think there's some interesting things in this book, but I don't think it's the best buy. <laughs> the next book we're gonna look at is probably the one I'm most excited for. The cutout and collage book, Vintage Botanical Plants. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this book is $13 and I'm assuming I'm gonna wanna collage with everything inside here. I hope these images are good. I'm really excited for this one. All right, so no intro, no nothing. This one goes just straight into it, but already we have some really great plants, a great mushroom, and they're one-sided. They have this fun pattern on the other side, which is kind of fun. So far, I'm digging these. This is vintage botanical plants. Yeah, they, oh, that pine cone, oh, that flower, oh. So far, this is exactly what I expected. I'm very pleased with everything that's in here. There's lots of mushrooms and I am so excited to use them. I will say, wish there were a couple like bigger flowers, but we're not all the way through yet. I would say there's a lot of leaves. Ooh, some big mushrooms, I'm digging that. There's a lot of leaves and smaller plants. I was kind of hoping maybe there'd be a couple bigger flowers, like this. Okay, so there are a couple, but the mushrooms in here are good. These are really good. I would say if these are the types of images that you use a lot, you would really love this book. I think I wish there were a couple larger flowers. There's a lot of very sort of delicate plants in here. And I know these are gonna be a pain to cut out. They're beautiful. But I think I would have liked a couple more larger flowers. But that's kind of a small nitpick. I think overall, this book is pretty good. And I really like the images in it. I just wish there were a couple larger flowers. The next book is Cut Stick Collage, and it's book number one of randoms. So I'm hoping for a lot of random things in here. Also, this book was $20, 
which I think is the most expensive one of all the ones we're looking at today, which is definitely on the pricier side, but hopefully there's so many images in here, it will be worth it. All right, we're jumping right into it. See, these flowers were kind of what I was thinking was gonna be in the vintage botanical one, more, you know, flower heads. But again, no stems. I really like to use the stems of flowers, so I kind of wish they had left those, but that's okay. These are really beautiful flowers. Got some blue leaves, some generic garden things, some cactuses. It looks like a lot of these are sort of watercolors. Oh, these are cute. That little snail. That little snail, buddy. <laughs> some fish. These look like exactly the same fish of the first book we looked at. Some shells. Ooh, these keys. These keys are really interesting. We haven't seen keys yet. I'm into that. Oh, a lot of cats. Oh, they're cute. Some bigger things, I appreciate that. This page sort of shows a lot of the variety. So there's cartoon things, black and white sketches, some colorful things, some more silhouettes. This book has a lot of variety. I don't think everyone likes to use cartoon things in their collages. I don't, I don't normally, but I do love these black and white skeleton heads. Ooh, some nice chairs. We haven't really seen chairs like that before. I kind of dig that. Oh, maps. We haven't seen maps in any of the one other books either. I would say this book is bringing some kind of interesting things we haven't seen yet. More heads. Okay, here are some random body parts, which I appreciate. Overall, I think the variety in this book is really good, and I think there's some interesting things that we haven't seen in any of the other books. The hats we haven't seen, the keys, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to find those again, but those were new. I think there's some good variety in here. I like the signs they have, some chairs. There's some fun things in this book. I was pleasantly surprised. From the cover, I was not expecting <laughs> much from this book, but I think there's some interesting things in here. The price point, not as good. I will say $20 for this, I think is a little bit too much, but I do think there's some unique things in this book and I appreciate the flowers. So overall, pretty good. I like this one. The next book we're gonna look at is probably the second most popular one of the ones we're gonna look at today. It's called Cut and Collage, A Treasury of Bizarre and Beautiful Images for collage and mixed media artists. And if the images on the front are any indication of what the images inside are gonna be, I think this is gonna be a good one. And this book was $18, so right sort of in the middle of all the other books we've looked at. This one also comes with a download. I did not download it. Maybe I did, I, I don't really remember. <laughs> Ooh, this first one, I love that. So this one does include a little bit of a tutorial, which I do think is helpful to include in one of these books. Oh, we're already into some weird medical things. These eyes are creepy. Wow, we got some weird surgical images. All right, we are off to a crazy start with this book, right into the medical images. These images are graphic. <laughs> like, I don't know if I would ever use these. These images like of this intestine, like I don't know if I would ever want to use images like this. These diseased people, this is great. Now we're into more my speed, flowers and leaves and botanical things and mushrooms. Ooh, these beetles are beautiful. Some vintage illustrations of animals. I think these are really nice. I love those. All right, getting into some skeletons, some skulls. I'm digging that. Ooh, some big snakes. I do love that this book has some bigger images. I really appreciate that. Some tools, those are kind of fun. So the cover of this book doesn't really indicate that there are gonna be a lot of medical illustrations in this book. It does say a treasury of bizarre and beautiful images. I really liked half the images in here. Really, really liked half of them. But then all of these sort of surgical images up at the front, I don't know 
who is using these in their collages. And I make some weird stuff and I'm not even sure if I would want to use those. I want to really like this book, but I think there's some really weird stuff in here. <laughs> I would say again, I think 50% of this book is really good and 50% is not as good. All right, there's one book left. The last book we're gonna look at is Magical Celestial Things to Cut in Collage. I did wanna try to find a couple books that had maybe some more out there images that were different than just the typical black and white sort of vintage illustrations. So I'm hoping there's some unusual things in here. Also, this book was $15. we jump right into the images. So we have these sort of tag things. I'm not exactly sure. I guess you could use those as a tag. Oh, this is a really nice full illustrated background. I did, the friend of this did say a lot about scrapbooking and journaling. So I think that this is maybe a little bit more geared towards that. But I will say the illustrations in here are very cool. I'm kind of digging these. Ooh, see like that's beautiful. That's a beautiful background. Some cool patterns in here. Again, the illustrations are really beautiful. There's some unique things in here, I like it. Definitely, I think, geared more towards journaling, scrapbooking, you know, a little bit not my style, but I do think there are, there's someone out there that would really love these illustrations and would love to use them in a notebook or something. So I think that this definitely has use. These crystals are nice. I love these eyes, this hand illustration. Some really beautiful stuff in here. Oh, like this eye pattern is really neat. This book is full of a lot of cool things. I don't think they're really things that I particularly would use in my collages. But again, I do think there's someone out there that would really love this style and it would fit perfectly into the things that they do. So I'm not hating on this one. I just think it's not particularly my style and it's not particularly things that I would use. Wow, some really, whoa. <laughs> I guess I can't hold them all at the same time. Wow, some really interesting. Okay, GoPro, we know you're not there. Wow, what a fun group of books we got to look through today. Unfortunately, I do think there's only one book that I would actually recommend, and it is the first one we looked at, Extraordinary Things to Cut Out and Collage. There's so many great images in here. They're all really high quality. The variety is good, and there's a nice tutorial and inspiration section at the front. So this is definitely a book that I will use in the future and will definitely pull out again and use a lot of the images in here. And even if you all think it would be fun for me to do a challenge with this book and create just a collage with this one book, let me know. I'd be happy to do that because there's plenty of great images in here. So leave a comment down below if you wanna see that. And I do think for the rest of the books, there's some cool stuff in here. I did like the vintage botanical plants. I love all the mushrooms in here. And if there's a book that had a style that you really liked, like maybe you are a spiritual seeker and you liked all the images in this book, I think this would be a good book for you to have. Or if you liked the illustration style in this celestial magic book, I think that'd be great for your journal or scrapbook or whatever. There are a lot of great images in these books. I think the thing I'm struggling with is the price. I feel like I got such good value out of this book. Everything else just didn't feel like it was living up to that book, unless there was a style that you really liked in one of these books. Anyway, I hope you all thought this video was informative and fun. And if you have any cut and collage books at home that you really enjoy, please let me know which ones they are in the comments. I would love to check them out. And let me know if you want me to do a challenge with this book or any of the other books. I would love to do that in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next Thursday for another collage video. Bye.